Tanisha is a parent of, of four boys. I think I, along with everybody else, was utterly disgusted and sickened to the core to see and hear the unprovoked attack on a young child, 14 years of age, as he was walking home from his school in Navan. And we can only send out our, our thoughts and our love to that child at this point in time and hope he makes a, a recovery and our thoughts and our love to the family also as they're dealing with this trauma. I know that the people of Navan, indeed the people right across the country, are shocked and horrified by this incident. And I know that you'll join with me in condemning this attack and indeed the individuals involved. The young person involved has suffered serious physical injuries and no doubt psychological inju injuries as well. And it's every parent's worst nightmare that they would see their child bullied. It's every parent's worst nightmare that this type of incident would happen, this type of attack would happen for their child to be physically assaulted for so many is just unimaginable. And for that matter, for their child to be involved in the perpetration of this type of assault. Johnny Gork has called on anybody with any information to bring that forward to the Gardaí so that this issue can be investigated properly and the perpetrators dealt with. And I want to echo his call this afternoon. It's also clear, Punisher, that there's a role for parents and there's a role for school communities across the island to educate our young people, to ensure that incidents like this never, ever happen again, to ensure that our children are protected from all forms of bullying and all forms of violence. And I would urge people to heed the advice of the Gardaí and not to reshare this video online any further. I believe that the majority of people who have shared this content have done so not out of any malice intent, but to express their revulsion at the heinous attack on an innocent and defenceless, defenceless young child. However, we know that sharing of such con content can have devastating consequence and impact on the victim who has already suffered enough. And that wasn't the intent, was it not the intent of those who took the video to actually do that? Tanisha, there is a disturbing rise in young people orchestrating these attacks and filming them for public online consumption. Many have warned that this is leading to a rise in violence on our streets and indeed in our communities. It is clear that social media companies are not doing enough to root out this violent content from their platforms, and that was very clear over the last 24 hours. Isn't it the case, Tanisha, that social media companies have a responsibility to ensure that this type of content is speedily removed from their platforms? At the start of this year, the government appointed the state's first online safety commissioner. Their role is to regulate online content to make our children safer online. And the shocking incident in Navin is surely an example of the type of content that should be removed from social media platforms. If you take a cursory glance at their website this morning, it shows that they haven't yet devised any online codes, nor are they able to deal with individual complaints relating to online safety. And I appreciate that they're new in the post, Tanishta, but can I ask you, on behalf of everybody here who's very worried that this could be their son, their daughter next, when will we have this office up and running and that they will be able to remove immediately online content of this nature? 